Hello friends, today I will discuss why do traffic jams happen without any accident on the road and when a traffic jam happens without any reason that is called the phantom traffic jam. So I will try to explain this phenomena of phantom traffic jam with the help of traffic flow theory. Traffic jam is known to everyone because at one time or the other every one of us has faced a traffic jam. When vehicles are standing on a highway bumper to bumper with no movement then it is called a traffic jam and generally it occurs when there is accident on the road or you are passing through a work zone or there is a lane closure due to maintenance work on the road. For example on a six lane highway when a lane is closed due to any reason either due to maintenance or due to some other reason then three lane traffic is funneled through two lanes causing traffic jam like situation. But many a times you might have experienced a traffic jam with no visible cause. No accident, no lane closure, no work zone but there is a traffic jam. Now that is called phantom traffic jam. And this jam is triggered by a small disturbance in the traffic stream and this disturbance amplifies and propagates backward like a shock wave. So why does it occur? It occurs due to some action of a particular driver that is not expected. On a busy highway vehicles are moving at low but constant speed and suddenly a driver changes the lane. For example here this driver is changing the lane and this, that creates a disturbance and this disturbance creates high traffic density and because the traffic is not able to absorb the disturbance so jam like situation is created. So process of a phantom jam is very simple. Now here you have a group of relatively small distanced cars means headway between the cars is small because density is high. Then one of them one of the drivers needs to brake because of a road irregularity or some thing happened up front. The driver which is in front of a particular car applied brake and this driver will react to this braking. Now because of this braking it will force each of the other cars behind to slow down as well. So braking will create a shock wave in the traffic stream and this shock wave will travel backward. So some drivers could overreact and brake even harder not understanding why everyone up front does it and wanting to be safe. The other, other drivers behind will think the same and eventually this will lead to a full stop on a certain segment. After a few seconds drivers to the front will realize that there was no reason to apply the brake or to go slow and then he will start driving away. Some might even change the lanes also thinking there could be an accident somewhere slowing everything down again and again and again. So that creates a kind of wave that propagates backward and finally it will lead to a traffic jam that is called the phantom traffic jam. So people standing in line for nothing just because someone had to break a bit more up ahead and created a massive braking wave behind. That is the reason for phantom jam. Let us try to understand this through traffic flow theory. Green shield model says that the, there is a linear correlation between speed and density. So as the density increases the speed will reduce and if you look at this on the flow density curve you have a point one here where the traffic is moving at some speed at some flow and suddenly there is a braking of the vehicle in front of a driver and that creates a situation where all drivers behind this braking driver will start braking their vehicle. So you are now here at point number two density on the road has increased because everybody is braking now and that is your the one two is what is called the shock wave. Now the shock wave travels backward that is disturbance travel backward 
and that creates a situation of the jam. Because there is a capacity drop when flow exceeds stable limits, congestion forms because the traffic stream cannot absorb the disturbance and that is the reason for phantom traffic jam. Possible solution is that you adopt cruise control to smoothen the flow, better driver awareness and safe following distance. If nobody applies unnecessarily brake or change the lane, then this problem or this situation can be avoided. Or infrastructure design to minimize bottlenecks. So finally, phantom jams are a result of human behavior plus traffic flow dynamics. Even without accident, small disturbances can trigger big slowdown and that can be avoided by smarter driving and technology. So thank you very much for watching this video. You can share the link with your friends. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.